Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is write, show you how to write an equation in direct variation or direct variation equation that goes through the given point, or that contains at least the given, contains or goes through. It's the same thing. Um, so basically, the best thing to do for this is to first really identify or remember, all right, so they're asking us to write an equation in direct variation form. And we know how to write equations in y equals mx plus b form. So how are these kind of related? Well, what you can see is your constant m is going to be your slope of your equation. Okay, So when we write something in y equals mx, that is in direct variation form. However, our b is not equivalent in direct variation form. Our y-intercept is going to be 0. So the best way for me to kind of look at this or to show you what to do to kind of visualize it is to say is to graph it. So we know that the y-intercept is going to be at 0, right? Because for it to be in direct variation form, it has to be 0. Then we also have a point that it's going to go through. So we go over 1, 2, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we were to graph the line, we just graph between those two points. But we need to figure out what the equation is. Well, again, we already know what y-intercept is. We just need to figure out the slope. So to do that, we use a slope triangle. Basically, I'm going to create vertical and horizontal lines to create a 90 degree angle, which creates my slope triangle. Now, remember slope is basically the change in y over the change in x, or rise over run. So between this point and this point, the change in my y coordinates is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I go positive 6, and then I go over 2 to the right. So therefore, I can say that my slope is 6 over 2, which is equal to 3. So to write my equation in, um, to write my equation, to write my equation in, um, in direct variation form, I would just write it y equals with my slope 3x plus 0. Well, again, we don't need to write the 0, so it's just y equals 3x. Okay. Now, if you don't like graphing or you're having trouble with graphing, hopefully you can just understand that really all I'm really doing is by graphing it, it's just, I'm just using that to find my slope. So the other way you can think about this is if you don't want to graph or you're having trouble or you're not doing like right angles or you didn't really understand fully, basically I want you to understand that if you plot the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you basically have two points. And if you have two points, right? remember that one point is 4, 10. The other point is 0. Um, if you have two points, you can always find the slope between those two points. So what I would do is I would call this x1, y1, and I would call this x2, y2. Then I would use the slope formula. And watch what happens. m equals uh, 10 minus 0 divided by 4 minus 0. m equals 10 divided by 4, which you can reduce to m equals divide by 2 on top and bottom, you get 5 halves. So guess what? That's my slope. And that's all I need to be able to do to write this in direct variation. I just need to figure out what the slope is. So y equals um, 5 halves x. So then if you're working on this, you say, all right, I'm going to get in a pattern. In reality, since that's 0, all I simply need to do to find my slope is to put y over x of my point. So if I have x, y, I could write y equals, oops. So I could say the slope then is basically negative 8 over 24. Okay, and, and you can go through these two, but these are kind of longer methods. You can basically just say y over x, that's going to tell you the slope. So I look at this, I can reduce that. Let's see, 8 divides into there, so that's going to be a negative 1 third. So y equals negative 1 third x. And I like using that method, um, because this one, the graph, 4 thirds, that's not going to be fun, right? So I could just do m equals y over x, negative 4 over 4 thirds. Well, what do you do when you have a number divided by a fraction? You get rid of your denominator by multiplying by the reciprocal. That goes to 1. You're left with m equals negative 4 times 3 fourths. How do you multiply a whole number times a fraction? Rewrite your whole number as a fraction, and then multiply straight across. m equals negative 12 divided by 4. m equals negative 3. So now I know what m is. I can write y equals negative 3x. 
So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write an equation in direct variation when given a point that goes through the, that the line goes through. Thanks. Hello. All right.